Hey Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team. Today I'm excited to talk to you about what to do when you've ordered all your product to make some cards. I've had many new customers over the last couple months order new product, some new stamp pads, a stamp set, some paper, and then they're like, what do I do now? So I wanted to just make a quick video showing you some basic tips and tricks how to use your product that you've recently purchased. So today I'm using the Labeled With Love stamp set. This is an awesome basic stamp set. It has images and it has sentiments in here. You can use it for so many different things. I also recommend using basic white note card and envelopes. This is a great way to get some basic card stock and envelopes that you can stamp on. You'll also need a clear block to stamp with, and then some stamp pads. I recommend two or three so you can have a few different colors to choose from. I chose out Azure Afternoon, Melon Mambo, and Daffodil Delight. These are super fun, bright, and you can stamp them off and get a couple different tones. I'll show you how to do all of that. So I wanted to start by showing you the stamp set. When you originally get the stamp set, it will come with two pieces of plastic um, surrounding the stamps. And so you can peel those off of the plastic and stick them directly onto your stamp case, just like this. The, each stamp case has images of the stamps and you can just store them right on your stamp case, just like that, and so you aren't going to lose your photopolymer stamps. It's a great way to store them. Once you're ready to stamp, you're gonna get your clear block and choose one of your images now these just peel right off, you can see right through them, and you just stick it right onto your stamp, and it's ready to ink up. Then you're going to take one of your stamp pads, this one's Melon Mambo. The really nice thing about Stampin' Up! stamp pads is that everything stays together. The lid stays with the stamp pad when you open it. So when you open it, you're just going to start here at the bottom. You can see there's kind of a little um, thumb grip place right here. You're just going to pull that up and then it just slides right into the pad. So everything stays right close together, just like that. Now I wanted to give a few tips on inking up your stamp. The stamp pads that Stampin' Up! carries they are a foam stamp pad. So when you go to ink up your stamp, you don't need to push too hard on there. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna do that and show you why you don't wanna push too hard. If you come here on the stamp pad and you push down all the way in there, you're going to get what we call over stamping. You can see that on the edge of the block here, I got ink on there. That's going to make it so that when I go and stamp down that image, if I rock at all, I'm going to get this over stamping here. And we wanna avoid that if we can. So let me clean this really quick. Okay, and I wanna just give you a little tip on how to ink this up. If you just lightly tap it a few times you're going to get all the ink that you need to get a good image when you stamp it down. And then I always like to test the image that I'm stamping. So use a scrap piece of paper, stamp down and make sure your image is all the way inked up. And you can do that once or twice just to make sure you're getting all the ink on there that you need. But a quick tap, tap, tap is really all you need to get the ink on your stamp. Okay, then we're going to grab our note card and envelope. So we're gonna stamp this butterfly image here. These come pre-scored, so you can just fold along that score line. And I'm going to use a bone folder just to get that really nice and creased really well. If you don't have a bone folder, you can use your 
thumb, your fingernail, anything to get that line really nice and creased. Okay, so we're going to just tap, tap, tap our butterfly and we're just going to stamp that right in the center of our note card. Just like that. Now, the really cool thing about this stamp set is that it's called a two-step stamping stamp set. So I have my outer image and then I'm going to grab this stamp and this is what's going to give me the color for the inside of my butterfly. Now, you also want to have with you something to clean your stamps with as you stamp, especially because if you only have one block, you're going to be switching the stamps out off of that block that you have. So I like to use, I'm gonna say that again. I like to use our Stampin' Chamois. This is just um, a chamois material that you can get wet over and over. You can see that this, this one is well used and loved, but you just get it wet, and then if it gets too inky, you just rinse it out and continue to use it. It dries in between uses. Depending on where you live, we live in a pretty dry climate, so it dries faster where we live than in other areas, but it's super nice to have on hand, and we just keep it in uh, an empty um, an empty stamp case. It makes it really easy. You can always use um, baby wipes. You can use a paper towel wet with water. There's a lot of different options that you can use to clean your stamps. So I'm just going to replace that outline of that butterfly back on there, and we'll put our bold butterfly on our block. And I'm gonna use this same color. This is still the Melon Mambo, but like I said before, one of the nice things about these um, bright colors that I have is that you can use them um, to stamp two different shades or tones of the same color. So you can see here, I'll ink up this butterfly. When I stamp that down, I have a really nice dark bright pink. And then if I stamp it again, I have another bright pink, but it's just a little bit lighter. And I can do that many times and get many different tones of pink. So this stamp is a really great color for that. So I'm going to stamp off my um, pink two times on my scrap paper, just like that. And then the third time I'm going to stamp over my butterfly. And you can see just lining that up, I can get that two tone of pink on there. So cute. Okay, now I'm going to clean that off and we'll grab our saying. And the saying I'm gonna use on this one is thanks friend. Just a really nice basic saying. And I'm gonna switch out my color here and we're gonna use Azure Afternoon. That's my blue color. So again, I'm just gonna stamp that, ink it all up, stamp it down, make sure that image looks good. And then I'm gonna come and stamp it right below my butterfly. Thanks, friend. Super cute, super simple, but a really fun card. Okay, now I need to stamp my envelope. I probably should have done this at the same time I was doing my card. But we'll, we'll come back and we're just going to stamp, take my thanks friend off. We're gonna stamp that butterfly again in the Melon Mambo. Just right down here in the corner of my envelope. Okay, and then if, again, if you wanted, you could do your inner color. Also, another thing you could do, in fact, maybe we'll give this a try. You could stamp the inside of that butterfly with the Azure Afternoon and get two different colors on there. So I'm gonna stamp that off 
just one time. So the second color will be inside my butterfly, just like that. So fun. Okay, let me pull in a few other cards that I've made using this stamp set. Just very simple using the supplies that I had on hand. Here's one using the happy birthday and the gifts. And then I just did a little gift there on the side. And one using that cute little frame in there. You are loved. And then I, I did wanna show just a little step up. If you added just a little bit more to your card, you could get this punch that coordinates and it punches out some of these different things in here. This little frame and then it fits the different sayings in there. If you added that to your, your purchase, you could just pop it up and add just a little bit of dimension to your card and it makes it a little bit have a little bit more to it and then add a little bit of um, ribbon on there too. Super fun. So often I feel like our customers get so excited to buy the product. They get the product in their hands and then they don't know what to do with it or they just don't use it. And that just breaks my heart. It makes me so sad. So I want to encourage you to use your Stampin' Up! product. If you bought a stamp set and you haven't used it yet, get it out and play with it. If you need ideas, you can always follow us on our social medias, at Stamping Jill. We are on Facebook, we are on Instagram, we are on YouTube, and we're on Pinterest. So go follow us there, or Stampin' Up! has a great Pinterest that you could follow as well. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, make sure to let us know and get stamping. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.